We'll start off our cardiac exam in the parasternal long axis view. Notice that the patient has a normal left ventricular ejection fraction. There's no pericardial effusion, and his right ventricle isn't enlarged. However, there is suggestion of some left atrial enlargement here. We'll move to the RV inflow view. This view is not commonly used, but if you're in the parasternal long axis view, you can tilt the tail of your probe upwards so you view the RV. Here's the RV and so tricuspid valve and right atrium. You'll notice that there's an echogenic mass within the right atrium that seems to be moving through the tricuspid valve but then coming back. It doesn't appear to be attached to the valves either. On the parasternal short axis view, you'll notice again in the right ventricle that there's an echogenic mass that appears in some parts of the clip. The RV appears a little bit enlarged and there's some flattening of the interventricular septum as well. Now if we move to the apical four-chamber view, this is an RV-focused apical four-chamber view. So we'll be focusing here. You'll notice again that there's this echogenic mass in the right atrium that essentially prolapses into the right ventricle and then moves back to the right atrium. Again, it doesn't appear to be attached to the valves here or to the interatrial septum. And finally, in the subxiphoid view, you'll notice again uh, echogenic mass in the right atrium that's prolapsing into the right ventricle. After about 24 hours, there's a repeat echocardiogram, and you'll notice on this parasternal long axis view, there's now an echogenic mass that appears to be piercing the inner atrial septum and is now in the left atrium. If we move to the apical four-chamber view again, you'll notice if you look very closely that through the inner atrial septum, there is an echogenic mass right here. And this is the clot actually becoming stuck in the inner atrial septum. This is a subcostal view uh, zoomed in on the inner atrial septum. And again, you'll notice the clot wiggling through the inner atrial septum here.